macroinvertebrates are incredibly, incredibly important to the ecosystem, and and not just for for fishing sake. I mean, fish, fish, all fish that exist at some point in their life are predominantly dependent on macroinvertebrates. At some point in their life, they need those macroinvertebrates to survive. You know, you know, you don't think northern pike are big macroinvertebrate eaters, but when they're really small, they need them. And if they don't get them when they're really small, we don't have big northern pike to fish out of the rivers. And we don't have big northern pike to eat the carp fry that are causing you know, trouble when, they, when the carp get big in our watersheds, invasive species that they are. Um, we also, you know, we, we, we tend to think of them only in terms of, of the river s systems, but they're also incredibly important to terrestrial systems. To, on, you know, we get out, they get out of the rivers, the mayflies hatch in, in the summer times and they fly out and there are all sorts of um, terrestrial organisms that benefit from this, this burst of diversity, this, the, all this nutrient and food that comes out at them. You know, all the frogs that are living on the ground and, and the mice and the voles and the bats, they all eat those things. And uh, those, the bats, for example, are incredibly important for keeping you know, mosquito populations down or uh, corn rootworm butterflies from coming into the region because they, they fly up and eat those things. But the corn rootworm isn't always available as a food source to those bats. And so in the meantime, they need to have some food from someplace else in the meantime. And guess what? The macroinvertebrates all leave the water at some point in their life and come into the air uh, in their adult stage. And they all become available as a food source for the terrestrial organisms as well. So it's, it's an incredible um, stabilizing force for terrestrial ecosystems and aquatic e ecosystems together. And you know, we also need a diversity of them as well because you can't just have one kind of, of, of macroinvertebrate and hope to support uh, a diverse uh, ecosystem. You know, certain kinds of fish eat certain kinds of macroinvertebrates and macroinvertebrates sometimes, you know, some of them um, hatch at different times of the year. And so we have this, the more species we have, the more stable uh, a food source we have for the fish or for the bats or, or for other insects that, that need those things to, to survive. We need that diversity. And also the same thing goes for their tolerance of different pollutants. Some of them are intolerant to heat, but others are tolerant to heat. Some of them are intolerant to pesticides, others are tolerant to pesticides. The more diversity we have, the more stable of uh, a water ecosystem we have, the more able it is to adapt or respond when we have a stress come through.